Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see introduction about the XML RPC in the Odoo side. This topic is not only for the Odoo developers, but who knows the basic Python that persons can learn how to integrate with the Odoo using your applications. If you are using the Java or its frameworks like the PHP or its frameworks, Ruby, right? Then after the Python and its framework, let's say the Django, Flask, Pyramid or like that. So using these techniques, what I will show you in a few sessions, you can follow those steps and you will get like you will successfully integrate with the Odoo. So here I will try to give you some basic demo in the Python language. So if you know only a little bit about Python, that's also fine. All right. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to clear POS lines using the button click event, please check link is given in description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the WebLens channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development label is there. And if you see here different apps of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. So let's back to our main topic about Odoo XML RPC. So the first thing is, is the overview, right? So here, like uh, Odoo server already provide inbuilt XML RPC. So you can easily integrate anything with the Odoo. So Odoo itself also using the web client and web client directly like perform some crude operations, right? All the crude operations using the XML RPC. And XML RPC is not the latest uh, feature in the Odoo. It's inbuilt feature with the older version to the latest version. Okay, so we will see like how we can also use the XML RPC using some uh, outside of the Odoo also. So here you have to understand basic diagram of the XML RPC, how it works. So let's say you have third party applications or inbuilt Odoo web client, right? want to perform any activities right the crude operations let's say i want to retrieve some uh, customer details so the first thing is it will convert into the xml right and after that it will goes to the http request it will generate to the odoo server like uh, web client and third party applications you can say is a browser or your actual uh, applications which is built in any different languages right it will call using the http and it will convert that uh, data into the XML format and that XML format Odoo server will read and it will convert into specific format and it will retrieve the data from the Postgres database and again it will retrieve from DB to the Postgres database to the server, the Odoo server and again it will convert into XML RPC into the XML format and again it goes to the response to the requester this is the simple diagram i hope you understood if you don't know about this diagram please comment below and if you have any good suggestion you can also add extra informations in the comment box okay so here like rpc stands for the remote processor calls right it will like a like same like here i explained already like it will convert into the xml format it will request to the server and it will perform the some operations and it will give the exact result what you are expecting right so that's the rpc concept and uh, how you can use right so you can use available in a different languages let's say the python ruby java php go and uh, many languages supporting xml rpc so it is very easy like let's say if you already know about the xml rpc features that would be very good to understand this concept right and here like uh, odoo's by default inbuilt methods you can try to integrate to retrieve or let's say you can uh, try to perform a crude operations right so here this list of, list of methods you can use so first is the search then after search underscore count search underscore read write fields get read create unlink and uh, yes like, uh, like uh, there is uh, some custom methods developed by Odoo developers, right? You can also access those methods also using the XML RPC. So guys, if you know about the Odoo, it would be very, very good. You can easily understand what these methods and what is the purpose of these methods, right? So if you don't know, don't worry about this one. In our upcoming session, I will explain one by one. So like, let's say what the requirement to integrate with the XML RPC, right? So let's say uh, right now I'm using a Django framework 
and I want to integrate with the Odoo to perform some crude operations, let's say the customers and the sales, right, sales order. So for this to perform such integration, so I want to ask to the client, like who is handling the Odoo, like we need the Odoo URL, the second is the Odoo database and third one is the username and password. If the password is not given by the person, then you can just ask to API key. Okay, these four informations required to integrate with the Odoo. Okay, so like let's say how many uh, steps to integrate with the Odoo, right? So only the two steps. The first step is to authentication with the Odoo using this Odoo URL database username and password, right? Or let's say the API key. And second one is like you can perform such operations, let's say the crude operations, which we will discuss in our further sessions using these APIs, sorry, using these methods. Okay, so only these two steps you can easily integrate with any Odoo version. So in our next session, I will give you a simple demo how to integrate with the Odoo server using the Python simple file out of the Odoo. Okay, for more information about the integration part, please visit the official Odoo documentation. You will also get the examples in the different languages. So, I hope you understood about this uh, the basic and the theory part of the Odoo RPC, XML RPC. If you don't know any concept in this discussion, please comment below and see you in our next session. And our next session would be how to authenticate with the Odoo server using the Python file. Okay, so see you in our next session.